commandeered the back porch. I'm back from Ikea. I've got my U-Truster shelves. Um, I'll put up here the dimensions of the ones that I bought. Because I can't remember already. And I've got a table. I've got some protective cardboard down. Get these all marked out, laid out, just as I did in the video. And start putting it together and see how inept I can possibly be. So I've got the glass all laid out nice and neatly. Um, of how it's all going to go back together. And I spotted the first little minor snag. Um, so one of two things is going on and I'm prepared to believe it's very much the first one. Either I'm being completely stupid and I've done this wrong or they don't line up. I was talking about doing this project on one of my live streams and one of my Swedish viewers said, oh yeah, I've, I've thought about doing that, but they don't make the right sizes here in Sweden. So when you put this one up, so the only way that it will work is to butt this one up against if this is the front or the back and then the side one sits inside. We're going to end up with this inch gap here, not gap, overlap. So I can't see any other way to do it. It's going to look a bit silly. I mean, it's fine for a fish room tank. It's just not going to work for a a display tank or a nice tank, unless you don't mind that or cover it up somehow. If I was that bothered about it, I would normally suggest maybe just cutting that off. Cutting glass is pretty simple really at the end of the day, but you can't do that with this because it's tempered glass. Okay, you technically can do that with this, but you'd have to go through a process of untempering the glass and it's not worth the hassle. So we'll just live with it. Right, now we've got the, the do or die bit here. Silicon is the same silicon I use for everything. It's the HA6 Marine Grade RTV Silicon Sealant. There's two ways, two effects the silicon's going to have. First is adhesion. So we're going to get the bits to stick to each other and then we're going to use it to seal. So I'm going to do one layer quickly round of sticky stuff, bring all the panels together, and then we'll go round it afterwards and seal it. If there's enough left, because this is my last tube. So, it's just a case of going for it. Basically, we're going to go along the faces. The side panels are going to sit on top. The front and back are going to push against. It's the only way that this works out without having to cut anything. So, let's go. So this is the point where we have to just try and bring them together basically and start with this one and this one, bring in that one and then end on that one, if that makes any sense. At this point, three arms would be useful. So a tip I learned from the other video is to leave this corner off a little bit so you can get this bit of glass in a little bit easier because this was, like I say, not done it that often but this was always a tricky bit. So 
So now I would just very quickly go around and square up all the corners, make sure they're perfect. And then we'll run a bead on the inside and take off the masking tape on the inside. And there was the other tip I picked up from the video of numbering the masking tape and putting it in a specific order so it all comes off as one. So we'll see if that works. Hey, hey. Ah, didn't come off as one, but it came off easily and it lifted the next piece. Okay, we've left it just over a day. All the silicone has cured. It's all pretty sturdily well put together. So water test, I guess, is the next step. Just wanted to quickly talk about these Utrusta shells from IKEA. In the UK, they come in four sizes. You can have 30 centimeter, 40 centimeter, 60 or 80. These are the 80 ones. But if you actually measure them, it's kind of just over 76 centimeters. Um, they're meant to be by 37 and they're kind of just 35 so be aware of that with this configuration i've ended up with about 95 liters and um, so it's just i guess your mileage will vary depending on where you get them from which country they seem to have different sizes around the world the cost for the 80 centimeter kit is 18 pounds and then the 30 centimeter kit is which what the end panels are made of um, is 12 pounds you need to buy two kits because they come in twos and you obviously need three panels for the big ones. But if I was going to get, if I was trying to do a fish room and I had just wanted to make all my own tanks, I suppose it's a fairly cost effective way to do it. For about 150 quid, I could get four tanks. Because once you do three lots of this one, you have three spares, so you can make the fourth one. So 400 ish litre tanks for 150 quid. Not bad for brand new tanks. You probably could get a better deal if you went and sourced your glass from a proper glazier or wholesaler. Obviously the the look of the original video was to try and emulate a nice open top tank, braceless tank. We've kind of ruined that by having these extra bits on top. But still, it's not a bad looking tank. Second hand's always going to be cheaper, going to a glazer potentially. But you know, if you're socially awkward like me, you don't like talking to people or ordering things. Um, it's pretty easy to just go to Ikea and pick these up. Fun project, if nothing else. Right, so what I'm going to do now is flip this over, cut off the cardboard, uh, and then do a water test. So at this point I can also go around any little blobs and mistakes that I've made and use a razor blade just to cut off any blobs of silicon or tidy it up a little bit on the outside, bits like this. I'm going to leave the cardboard on the bottom like this because it's a nice little, not stand, something for it to sit on basically, um, which will also give me an indication whether or not it has any leaks. Normally I'd use a bit of polystyrene to set the tank on, a rubber mat, a yoga mat, something like that. Um, especially when the glass bottom is the bit that touches the ground, any imperfections have the potential to crack the glass and you don't want that. Um, but this that we'll do for testing purposes, just have the, the brown cardboard and like I say, it'll let me see if we've got any leaks. Let's take it outside and fill it up. Well, it holds water at least, that's a, a good sign in an aquarium. Um, yeah, perfectly functional aquarium, what, what is there to say? I'll leave a link to the Serpa Design video in the description below so you can check that out when you want to. Um, but other than that, if this is your kind of thing, have a bash. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. Thank you, bye bye, see you next time.